Hi, it's Will from StoneCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is a diorama tutorial, and this is a Game of Thrones tutorial, how to make um, a castle black diorama, or a wall diorama. See it? It's castle black here, right? Partially in ruins, and the wall, kind of cool. Fun little project. It's also part of a tutorial. See these little tiny trees? Some of these are purchased and some of these are made. So I will, in synchronization with this tutorial, I will show you how to make those little tiny trees. It's kind of neat. Uh, let me show you also, I added a motor to this and uh, let me turn it on here. A little switch. The elevator actually does go up. You can see that. See, it's a little loud, but that's all right. So, so you need to get to the top of the wall. There you go. Take the elevator. <laughs> Let's uh, back up and take a look at this. And the elevator goes up and down. But let's step back up and take a look at this diorama. The actual, we did some interesting things with this. The snow is wonderful. The buildings are just spectacular. And also, that wall is wax, candle wax. Straight out of candle wax. Gives a nice, nice ice kind of look. So, not a whole lot to this. Making the trees, making the tiny buildings out of foam, right? Making the wall. That's it. So let's launch into um, how to make uh, Game of Thrones diorama, Castle Black, and the wall, and the ele and the automated elevator. Uh, thanks for watching my channel. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. Always lots of interesting creative projects. Lots more coming. Thank you. Diorama's origami, catapults and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees and paper games, swords and shields and real blacksmithing, model box and animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, the first thing we did uh, before building the diorama is some research and a bunch of drawings and blueprints on how we wanted to lay it out and how it was going to look. Uh, so there we go. We started cutting some foam to try to get the scale of it. And um, give a big thumbs up um, to Danielle for doing this project. She did a lot of work on this. She read the book. She did a lot of research to get the towers right, uh, the names of the towers, the shapes of the towers, the square towers. And she did a, she did a lot of work on this. So give her a big thumbs up. So we used a lot of pink foam to do all of this. And um, it's very easy to work with. You can cut it, you can sand it. You can use a ballpoint pen to actually make the windows and the doors and the brickwork in it. There's a lot of fun working on little miniature buildings like this. And then an X-Acto knife to cut out any doors and windows you want to cut out. Looks good. Now we also used um, toothpicks and little bits of balsa wood to add more details to the different buildings. We even built a couple of buildings with the balsa wood. And these are columns and then a roof would go on top of that. Just a thin balsa wood roof. If you're making a diorama like this, don't be afraid to experiment. Use all kinds of different materials. See, the roof goes right on top of the columns. Now we even did some thatch work for one roof had a uh, thatching on it, so that's just thin strips of balsa wood cut up and then glued together like this to make like an angled roof. Different types of buildings, so the battlements there. There you go. 
couple of buildings are done and ready to be painted. Now the towers, there are six towers. Um, those are easily cut out of uh, foam. And then to get them nice and round, you sand them. Doesn't that look good? A little bit of foam, a little bit of glue, ballpoint pen, and an exacto knife, and you can make yourself up a whole bunch of buildings. Right? The pointed roof there, and the, the pen makes the nice um, uh, tile work on the, on the roof. And even one building is built right out of uh, wood. So you get a wide variety of different um, materials you can use to make a miniature diorama like this. You know, experiment, try different things. You know, you probably, there's all kinds of things you can use for this. You don't have to uh, buy materials, just scrap up stuff. There we go, a little angled thatched roof. Now we've got another building. And the pen isn't really nice for doing brickwork like this. So now let's paint the paint the buildings. Start with a base coat of black, and then that will be done with the buildings. And we'll move on to the terrain and the automation. And then a, a, a coat of a thin coat of gray over that black. And they look good. And then one more painting step. Now some dry brushing of white. And dry brushing is where you put white on the brush and then uh, wipe most of it off like that. You dab most of it off and then you lightly go over the object and it just leaves a certain amount of white. Um, <clears throat> it has a good look. And also because this is a snow scene, it, it leaves snow on it. So now let's work on the um, actual base of the diorama, the landscape. Again, we refer to our drawings and make some more drawings, figure out the size of it, where we want the various things, like we want some hills, right? And then we start to um, visualize that and then bring that into um, a reel. So how we make the hills is cut up some cereal box cardboard into strips. and then place them like this in various spots on the surface of the diorama. But see how there's a little bit of space under those that form hills? We're gonna fill those in for strength. Um, another thing you can also use is um, wire form. This works really good for landscape. We used a little bit of it for different spots. But then you crumple up newspaper and um, squeeze those pieces underneath the hills like that. That's for strength so it doesn't sag when, you, uh, when we um, coat the terrain. Now you can use paper mache. That's two cups of water, two cups of flour, and newspaper. 
to do this surfacing of the diorama, or you can use plastic cloth like we use. Plastic cloth, cloth is more durable, but you have to buy it, so there's the trade-off. Cut yourself up a bunch of strips, and then you soak them in water, and you apply them to the drain like this, as many coats as you want. Um, overlap those strips is important for strength. If you used um, paper mache, you mix your flour and your water, and then you dip strips of newspaper in it, and then you lay those on the terrain like this, and that will make a nice shell too. I have tutorials on that on my website. It looks really good. So it's a nice snowy scene with a little bit of roughness to the terrain, and we'll sand it out to smooth it. I mean, we don't want to sand out the, the hills, but we do want to sand out the pattern of the cloth so it kind of disappears. The cloth doesn't show that much. So now a base coat of white. It seals it and primes it. And white is perfect because it's a snow scene. So now, you know, once that dries, we just have to add some details to this landscape. You could add miniature figures. There's all kinds of things you could do. Um, there's a path leading up to Castle Black, and then there's like muddy terrain all in the castle grounds. So we did that with um, some shades of brown. Now, the, um, to do the path, we wanted it to be like um, kind of grassy or straw-like. And so this is how we did the path. You put some spray adhesive down in the path, and you wipe away what you don't want, anything to stick to. In other words, it'll just stick right to the path, and you'll see that in a second. And then you can use like dirt or soil. In this case, we're using actual pencil shavings, and you sprinkle those right on the path, and they will stick to the um, glue. So it gives it like a realistic feel. And that's what we did on the diorama, just showing you here in a little example. You know, pat it down and then... Um, tip it to get rid of all the excess. There you go. Very nice. And now the trees. I, I'm, I will be posting a tutorial on how to make these little trees. But I just wanted to show you a little bit of it like that. Use a drill and some fabric. You make your trees. You trim them down. And um, <clears throat> this diorama has almost 200 trees on it, so that's a lot of work. And because it's a winter scene, snowy scene, spray a little glue on them, and then um, dip them in your snow. Now, this is purchased snow. I'll show you more of this. But I actually have a tutorial, a couple of tutorials on my website that show you how to make your own snow without buying any. That's kind of neat because people are kind of hesitant about the snow. So now let's think about tree placement. This is a forest. There are lots of trees, and we laid that out. And the tree is a matter of just uh, poking a little hole in the surface of the terrain and then popping the tree in there. And you can add a glue to glue them, but experiment with different types of glues. Some glues will melt the foam, and you don't want that. You want a glue that actually holds. Then after the trees are in place, we wanted to place our buildings. And we use Gorilla Glue for that because Gorilla Glue um, doesn't melt the foam. So listen, this is we're getting close to done here. Thank you for sticking with me this long in the tutorial. You clearly are curious and interested in diorama making. A lot of, you learned a lot of techniques so far on how to make easy dioramas with just basic materials. And um, if you make a diorama, make sure you send me a picture of it. If you're a Game of Thrones fan, make a Game of Thrones diorama. So now the snow. You've probably been waiting for this. Spray some kind of a, a, adhesive on the surface of the diorama on everything, right? You can use Mod Podge, you can use a spray fixative, you can use water and white glue mixed together 50-50, put them in a spray bottle and then spray that. And that works really well for um, adhering uh, snow or anything else to your diorama. And then you sprinkle on the snow. That is woodland scenic snow that I bought. But um, <clears throat> I do have a tutorial on how to make snow, I said that already. 
but you're probably curious about that if you want to make snow. <clears throat> so shake off the excess, and then this is important. Make sure you spray it again to seal it. Make sure that snow stays. You give it another coat of spray, just like that. Wonderful. So not a whole lot remains here. The wall, just foam, cut to shape. So you got a little um, entrances cut there. But how did we do that? That is melted wax. So cut the shape, paint it white first, and then we, we broke open a candle and melted down the wax. Look at that. And then you just pour that on and it gives you that wonderful I don't know what it is, it's like a glacier feel. Um, we got this idea from another tutorial. I forgot the guy's website, I'm sorry. But we didn't think, I didn't think of this idea on my own. We get it from somebody else, it's a really neat idea. And then touch it up a little bit with, um, with white paint. And you have a glacial wall. Of course, a little fixative or Mod Podge and then sprinkle on some snow. We had a long winter here in New England. Last thing I want to think about now that spring is getting here is snow, but that's it. That's the last of the snow. A little bit of adjustments. You bring the height of that wall up so it fits well against the actual diorama, and we can assemble the whole thing together. Yay. Oh, one quick look here at this wonderful little main door. That's just a bolt of wood painted black and then painted gray. And the gray is... Um, <clears throat> We use the um, very light brushing technique, dry brushing. It gives it a really good look. I'll show you that right here. And that can be popped right in. See that? Doesn't that look good? That's that. Be careful if you glue it. Glues will melt it. Some types of glues will melt the foam. Okay, the elevator. Made out of uh, bits and pieces of bamboo skewer, some string, and some balsa wood. Just like that, so it goes up and down. I, I couldn't resist. I had to make this. It was just too much fun. And it's running like a little rail like that, so it, so it slides freely up and down. And then I attached a gear motor to it, and the black thing is a little battery box, a switch, and it can go up and down. Simple as that. Game of Thrones, we have made it. A little diorama with a little bit of automation to it. So let's take a look.